Hey, Julie Burke here, founder of createsuccesswithjulie.com. I am sitting outside in my home in Chicago and it's thundering. So I came out here for a minute just to kind of take a break and um, talk to you and really just talk about happiness in general. Um, I feel like sometimes we lose ourselves in our business or we can lose um, sight of really what the true meaning of happiness is um, when we are growing and developing ourselves in our business. So I feel like personal development is huge. I've been doing a lot of personal development um, lately and I've been doing a lot of personal development videos talking a lot about uh, confidence and belief and um, really that if you missed my video from yesterday, I did post it on uh, the page. You have to go back and look at it. it. It had a pretty amazing, I got pretty amazing feedback from that video because I talked about that nobody else will care about your business um, except for you. Um, so you could check that out. But like I said, I'm I'm waiting for some of you to hop on. As you're tuning in, please let me know where you're tuning in from. Give me a little shout out, shout out say hello. Um, I'm sitting outside and it's thundering. It just started thundering. So I'm probably going to keep this this uh, live as quick as possible and do this. But I wanted to just talk about and give you some really simple f- like five tips on how to create more happiness in your life. So um, as we are designing our lives as, as entrepreneurs do, so whether you're a network marketer or you're an online marketer or you're a coach, an internet marketer, it doesn't matter, right? You're trying to design your vision and your your future and um there are some of us who feel that we've sometimes evolved from one season to the next like i know i have throughout this past year especially within my business and sometimes we're we're clueless as to where we want to go right um like we we know it we feel it but still we don't know how to get there right and so um you have to build a plan And you build a plan that will help um, you help us grow, right? Help us grow as business owners, help us grow as a mom, a wife, a husband, a daughter, a sister, a friend. So before you could get that plan, though, we have to start internally with just being happy, okay? So if you guys are tuning in, um, today I'm talking about five tips that will make you happy. I'm sitting outside in what appears to be a storm coming, um, but I still want you to give me a shout out. Don't worry about me. I'll run in if it gets uh, crazy. But uh, let me know where you're tuning in from, okay? So tip number one I'm going to be talking about is really just truly learning how to live in the moment. This is something I have been working on, you guys. Um, so in this world, like we, we literally move. Do we not move? Like if you agree with me, drop me a one. We move at like Mach 3. I don't even know if there's a Mach 3. But like I'm moving sometimes with my hair on fire <laughs> and I don't take time to take a breath, reevaluate, and really just take in the moment, okay? Um, So I can maybe go for a walk or I'll go work out and I'll go um, maybe try and chill with my kids, but mentally, I am still thinking about business. Mentally, I'm still thinking about my to-do list. Like I have my work face on, right? My husband always says, you have your work face on. And um, in the shower, like I'm not taking a shower, right? Like I'm thinking, sometimes I get my best thoughts in a shower. It's kind of funny actually. Um, so, oh, my magazines are going all over. Um, so anyways, um, really just taking time to live in the moment and stop multitasking so much, right? That could be a huge benefit to your business is just taking it all in. Uh, number two, you must be flexible in your business and resilient. Resilient as meaning like to spring back when stuff goes wrong, like rebounding when people tell you no, you got to keep moving forward, right? You return to your original form, um, as I like to say, right? So there's always going to be resistance in your business. So when you do have resistance, do you bounce back? Like how many of us can say that we do that? Because I know at times I've been hung up by people saying things, um, whether it be negative or, or, you know, hateful or what have you, um, or people just telling me no, right? 
like you have to be able to have that armor. So I'll start off my day with a plan or maybe I'll have some goals that I want to hit that day. And sometimes the days just don't go the way that I plan it to go, right? So instead of getting frustrated, I have to learn to be flexible and just kind of like course correct, okay? And return back to my plan when I'm in a better state of mind and not so frustrated and stressed out. All right, uh, tip three, stay calm, all right? So remaining calm can actually keep your workload down as we lessen stress levels. Um Recently, I had something go wrong with one of my funnels and it was like pure chaos and I literally just wanted to throw in the towel and I was like, um, I had to take a step back and de-stress, decompress and just like learn how to stay calm, okay? Keeping calm, I know sounds easy, um, way easier said than done, but in reality, it'll test your maturity, it'll test your experience, it'll test your wisdom and it'll help you um, kind of just pull back a minute and like I said, reevaluate, okay? Tip four, be good to yourself. Be good to yourself. We beat ourselves up and we are no good to anyone else if we are not first good to ourselves, right? So taking time out, time to go sit and read a chapter in your book, time to go listen to a personal development CD or podcast, time to just go take a walk, time to go uh, get your nails done, right? Like today, I'm gonna go get a facial. I'm taking a time out. I wanna go get a facial, right? Just taking those things in and never underestimate the value of um, doing things for yourself, okay? And treating yourself right with speaking kind words, okay? Um, And then, Tip number five is do nothing, okay? Sometimes there is great value in just sitting still and doing nothing. Um, Sitting with a quiet mind, sometimes you could get your best ideas. I will tell you that right now. And so, you know, true happiness is a state of just being content, okay? And if you're not content, you have to ask yourself, um, why? Why are you not content? Why are you not happy? And then make a plan to change it, all right? Um, And so if you believe that, if you could hold something in your palm of your hand, that that's gonna treat, you know, make you happy, whether, you know, it's a a physical object or maybe it's it's money, right? Because money doesn't buy our happiness, okay? Um, Here's a tip for you. If you could hold it in your hand, it's probably not true happiness, okay? And so you want to go out there and you want to just find out what it is that is going to make you feel like you're creating more of an impact, make you feel like a better person, make you feel happy, all right? Because no one should be stuck in doing something that they are not happy with. And like I said, if you are, you need to change it. All right. So my five tips again, tip one, live in the moment. Tip two, be flexible and resilient. Tip three, stay calm. Tip four, be kind to yourself. And tip five, sometimes just do nothing, all right? Let your mind relax. All right, guys, so I hope, oh, hey, Sandy from Las Vegas. I love Las Vegas. You know, I've been to Las Vegas 22 times, I'm telling you, and I don't even gamble, so go figure. I just saw, actually, I just was there and saw one of the greatest shows. Where was it? Um, It was like a Cirque du Soleil show, but it was like real raunchy. It was in um, Caesar's Palace, I believe. Amos a- absinthe or something like that I think it was it was amazing that's all I could tell you I laughed from start to finish with my girlfriends I think for two hours straight and did not stop laughing so anyways um you guys there's my tips today I gotta run be blessed and as always if you have any sort of question comment drop it below and um if you found value in this you guys and you know somebody that is seeking out happiness and looking for it in the wrong places, please share this with them. Okay. Um, be blessed. I'll talk to y'all real soon.